guys, so I recently got an email from a girl named Shannon who is 13 and wants to be a graphic designer. People who are 13 and want to be graphic designers are my favorite kind of people, so I thought I would answer her questions here in a video so that hopefully it'll help out some of you guys as well, since I don't really have time to be giving personalized advice to every single person who emails me, I'm sorry. So Shannon had four questions. First, does RISD expect a lot of experience when entering college? Well, I don't really want to speak only for RISD since I don't know the ins and outs of their or any other college's admissions process, but in general, they look for potential. They don't expect you to be the most brilliant artist ever going into the school because what else are they going to teach you? They're expecting your portfolio to be mostly student work, so work really hard on that and work with as many different mediums as you can to show that you're willing to take chances and step outside your comfort zone. Look up portfolio review days in your area, which is where representatives from nearby schools will all come to this one central place and they'll look at your portfolio and tell you what you should add or change before you actually apply to the school. Sometimes they'll accept people on the spot if you're just that good, but when I went to them when I was in high school, I just got a lot of really useful feedback. Question number two, would you advise that I take high school graphic design classes? If your school offers them, then yes, of course, take as many of these classes as you possibly can. I was really lucky that my high school did offer a wide variety of design classes, but if your high school doesn't, then look up a nearby art store or a community college that might have them. Or if you live in the middle of nowhere and there are absolutely no art or design classes to be found, then just look up tutorials online and practice adapting their techniques to your own work. Treat it like it's a class. Give yourself deadlines and make new things every single day. Question number three, are are you required to take a website coding class as a graphic design major? At RISD, you're actually not required to take any coding classes, or at least you weren't when I was there. But if you want to go into web design, which is where a lot of the jobs are these days, then you kind of have to know the basics. You don't have to be a master web developer. I mean, when I try to look at code, my eyes kind of glaze over and I just get a really bad headache and I have to cleanse my brain with some nice Photoshop work. But you should be able to communicate with a web dev, so knowing the basic terms and knowing even what the possibilities are that you could do, that can only help. And finally, should I consider purchasing an Adobe design program? If your parents will help you pay for the Adobe Creative Cloud, that is awesome. You're all set. I know I've been talking about it everywhere lately, but seriously, for $30 a month as a student, you can download every single latest version of every Adobe design program. This is what all the pros use. This is what you will use if you do this as a career, so it can only help to start learning it now. But maybe if your parents are on the fence about it, because it does add up to quite a bit of money, then download the free 30-day trial. Tell your parents what you're doing and what you're going to use it for, and if you can show them that you're actually using these programs and practicing your skills, they may be more open to the idea. But I understand that not everyone can afford it, so see if your school has any computer labs with the Adobe programs that you can use after school or during study periods, or look into free alternatives like the GIMP, or there are a ton of other ones out there. There now. As long as your ideas are strong enough and you're building this, the same foundations, it doesn't really matter what programs you use. The programs are just a tool. And at RISD, at the beginning of the graphic design program, they actually offered intro classes on how to use Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, which I actually skipped because I already knew how to use this program, so I don't know exactly what they taught, but it seemed to get everyone on about the same level. Just so long as you're making things, even if it's collaging with scissors and glue, even if it's making one Direction fan art. Just make new things every single day. So Shannon, I hope that was useful to you and hopefully to all the other 13 year old graphic designers who maybe feel intimidated or maybe don't know where to start. If you want to learn more, I have a ton of videos all about graphic design and being a designer and going to art school which probably answer a ton of your questions. So I recommend checking out this playlist which has all of my graphic design videos in one place. But remember, you're still young. This is your time to experiment. Don't lock yourself down to any one medium. Do work with collage, watercolors, sculpture, costumes. You're gonna have a lot of different experiences before you decide
decide on where to go to college. And you might even be halfway through college before you decide on your major. So learn as much as you can now, but once you start putting in all the hard work, if you find you like other mediums better, or if you find you want to be a physics major, that's totally fine too. Or if you try a whole bunch of different things and always seem to come back to graphic design, that's awesome. Welcome. We'd love to have you. So good luck. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions, and if you are older than 13, let me know in the comments what you wanted to be when you grew up when you were 13. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. My battery is running out. This is probably going to die like in two seconds, so if you missed my last two videos, they're right here and right here. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Oh man, that battery thing started blinking like three minutes ago and I was only halfway through the video. I don't know how I'm, I managed to finish that without it dying. It's probably going to die like a second from now.